In this video, I'll say something about complex arithmetic, that is, arithmetic expressions that contain more than one arithmetic operator. Let's write some code. Let's imagine we're building an application for a cake shop, and the application will calculate the total cost of a number of cakes. I'm not going to capture any input, I'm just going to hard code the data to keep things simple. So I've declared three variables, one for the price of a cake, one for the quantity of cakes, and one to store the total cost of however many cakes are being bought. Let's initialise these variables with some data. As I said, I'm hard coding the data so I can focus on the calculations, but of course I would probably want to capture this data from text boxes on the form. So to calculate the total cost of 10 cakes at a price of £5 per cake, these are good cakes by the way, I'll use the multiplication operator. And let's output the result. £50 worth of cakes, no surprises there. Now suppose for a moment we want to calculate a discount of let's say £2 per cake. you might be tempted to try this. Take the original price, subtract the discount and multiply it by the quantity. £5 per cake minus £2 per cake, that's £3 per cake, multiplied by 10. I might expect a result of £30. Let's take a look. Minus £15. Not only are we giving the cakes away, we're giving money to the customers as well. That's totally unsatisfactory. What's going on? Well, there's an order of operations that applies when it comes to complex arithmetic expressions. By a complex arithmetic expression, I simply mean an expression with more than one operator. This expression includes a minus sign and a multiply sign. The order of priority is that multiplication is done first. So in this case, the discount is being multiplied by the quantity, which is 20, and then that is being subtracted from the price. 5 minus 20 is indeed minus 15. If I want the discount to be applied first, in other words, I want the subtraction to happen first, I can control it using brackets or parentheses, as they're otherwise known like this. So now anything inside the brackets will happen first. And there's the £30 I was expecting. You may well have come across this already. You might have heard of bod mass. BOD mass stands for brackets, order, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. That's the order of priority of the arithmetic operators. Order, by the way, means exponentiation, raising something to the power of something else. So what we're saying is anything inside brackets will be done first. If there's an exponentiation operator in the expression, that will happen next, followed by division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. The truth is division and multiplication have the same priority. Also addition and subtraction have the same priority. So perhaps we should say to indicate the fact. By the way, I typed a single apostrophe before I wrote this. This is not code. This is simply a comment which I've added to my code. Comments aren't executed. They're not part of the program. A comment is just something that I can put in my code to help me to understand it. Now let's suppose for a moment I want to add a charge for postage and packaging to the total cost of this order. Let's 
will have a flat charge of £3. And I'm just going to add it to the end of this calculation. Thinking about the order of operations, whatever's in brackets will happen first, then that will be multiplied by the quantity, and then finally the postage will be added on. So I don't actually need to include any brackets here. £33 as expected. But there's nothing to stop you from adding brackets if it helps you to understand the code. So for example I might do this. I'm saying do all of this first and then add the postage at the end. Something else you may have come across is this. PEMDAS. This stands for It's essentially the same thing as BODMAS. You might have noticed that the M and the D are the other way around. But that just makes the point that the order of operations when it comes to division and multiplication is irrelevant. Now beware, you might come across this. That's the cost of my cakes. That's 10 minus 5 plus 2. Of course, 10 minus 5 is 5, plus 2 is 7. That is 10 plus 2 minus 5. 10 plus 2 is 12, minus 5 is also 7. All I've actually done is swap around the order of the operations. But 10 minus 2 plus 5 is 13. Let's be clear, I haven't just swapped around the order of the operations, I'm changing the number which I'm subtracting from 10. 10 minus 2 is 8, plus 5 is 13. It's a different calculation. The same applies here. In the first two examples, all I've done is change the order of operations. I've got 10 divided by 5 times 2, or 2 times 10 divided by 5. But in the third example, it's a different calculation. It's 5 divided by 2 multiplied by 10. So beware, BODMAS and PEMDAS both apply. They do tell us the order of operations when it comes to complex calculations, but complex calculations can also be quite deceptive.